what is Titomic? Titomic is a new 3D printing process specializing in metals and titanium. This frame was made with a Titomic process. It's equivalent to a carbon frame. It's about seven and a half kilos with all the gear on it, about 1.2 kilos of titanium part. And the most important bit about it, it was actually produced with zero welds on it and produced in 20 minutes. It's a game changer as far as 3D printing is concerned. What is the Titomic technology? Titomic technology is a revolutionary new 3D printing process. What difference actually from everything else is that we, it's not a welding process like all other metal 3D printing processes. How does it work? Titanium powder is deposited by a supersonic jet that bonds by kinetic fusion. And this sounds very technical, so I'll put it in a bit more layman terms for you all. We basically spray titanium powder, we put it in the chamber, heat up some gas, and that combination of those two together accelerates the particles of titanium through a nozzle and out a spray gun. That spray gun is controlled by a robot arm that we can position it to wherever we want. As the particles hit the surface, a process called plastic deformation happens where the particles actually splatter and as they actually hit each other, they bond at a mechanical level. This process is a lot stronger and also we don't have limitations of size and other problems associated with all the welding processes. How was the technology created? My background was in composite technology. I've been working with carbon fibre and other composites for many, many years. I used to lecture at the CSRO on current trends in composites. Through that, they approached me a few years ago about a federal government initiative they had called All for More, where they're trying to maximise the use of a great resource Australia has in titanium ore. The problem was we're not mining that ore. We've got the largest deposits in the world. And so their idea was to look at new processes where we can turn that ore very quickly into powder for 3D additive manufacturing and also create a downstream manufacturing process for that as well. When we initially looked at the process, we looked, engaged all the typical 3D printing processes. Every way we looked at it, it was still a welding process. The problem when you weld titanium, titanium is an amazing material but it's not very easy to fabricate. All the traditional methods, you either have to machine off and you have so much waste. For instance, in the aerospace industry, they'll make frames for the fuselage, they'll grab, grab an 800 kilogram block of titanium and cut 700 kilograms off that and left with a 100 kilogram part. Unfortunately, those 700 kilograms can't get recycled at present. So there's a ratio they call fly to buy for the aerospace industry because it's so expensive to use titanium. Where we looked at further into it, we, we tried to engage a way we could make bigger parts with 3D printing. So that search led us to look at all existing technologies on the market. They all had the same problem. Anything you do with titanium, once you heat it up to its melting point, you get these problems of oxidisation. So it has to be done in a vacuum chamber, which limits your size capability and also the process. So what we came up with, we found another process that had been invented by the Russians back in the 80s and that process was for doing thin coatings of metals onto other metals. And we looked at this process and we thought, okay, it's not a melting point, there's no oxidation with the process manufacturing it, why hasn't anyone looked at this deeper? We did a lot of research in this area and found no one had done anything. So what we decided to do was take this 3D or a coating system and turn it into a 3D printing process. So basically what we did, we took the standard spray gun that's basically mounted onto a robot and we actually create robot pathways, allow us to spray any shape we want, as well as build up near net shapes as well. Why is Titomic disruptive innovation? Here's a quick chart just to show what we call the rate of deposition. What that also refers to is how quickly you can build a part, the build speed on a part. Along the bottom here, we have an example of probably the latest processes at the moment. Some are powder bed, where we put layers of powder down and then a laser electron beam heats micron layers up at a time. Very time consuming process. If you look at kilogram rate per hour, how it builds, you're looking at 0 0.2, 2 0.27. Then you go into the wire feed. Now this is starting to revolutionize that industry for aerospace, making it a lot quicker. You look at the single laser wire feed, and electron beam wire feed are 2.9 and 9.7 kilograms per hour. Now if you look at our process, the Titomic process, we're up to 45 kilograms an hour. Now that's where we are right at the moment with this technology. 
this technology is also growing exponentially. So we're already in tests up to 60 kilograms an hour, and we envisage within two years we'll be able to do 200 kilograms of material an hour. Now this is very disruptive to existing industry. Not only is that speed there, our cost is minimal. It's half of anything out there on the rest of the market. What are the advantages of the Titomic technology? We're looking at build rates of 45 kilograms per hour. We're looking at cost savings of up to 50%. Now, not only is that 50% comparable to other 3D printing systems on the market for metal, also to tr traditional methods. Like I mentioned earlier, if they're machining big blocks of titanium, it's a very expensive process. So this is a game changer as far as the cost savings of up to 50% we can produce in manufacturing. Also, what we've found is that 34% stronger than stock titanium. Now, the reason for this, as I explained earlier, as the particles compact to each other, they actually densify. So the metal, it becomes a lot more denser than if it was actually melted and forged like normal billet titanium. Now, when we originally looked at that, we saw that as what's that going to happen when we do the testing. So we did a whole series of compressive yield tests on this um, material that we made, and we found it was 34% stronger than stock titanium. Now, this equates to another area. This equates to weight savings of up to 34%. Now, if you look at the aerospace automotive industry, they have to find savings in weight. Fuel efficiency is growing up, and that weight is such a big concern to a lot of industry, they're actually running out of areas where they can find those weight savings. With this type of technology, we're already speaking to several aerospace companies and some automotive companies that are very excited and interested in this technology. The other and most important thing is the no build size limitation. Because we don't need a vacuum environment or vacuum chamber to produce this in, we're not limited by size. So we've talked to people, everything from recoding ships that are dry docked, where we can run this whole system on a quite a large gantry system, to also doing any size product. So it's not too far-fetched to think we could actually be producing submarines for the Australian government with this technology at a lot less cost than what they're looking at tendering it out for at the moment. Easy Light. Easy Light is a new medical device company working with Titomic. Okay, with Easy Light, they looked at a market with transport wheelchairs. This is a growing market as the population is getting older and living longer. There's about a 20% growth worldwide for transportation wheelchairs or mobility aids. When we had a look at this market, what we found was a lot of limitations. The actual basic wheelchair design, originally invented by the Chinese over 2,000 years ago and made out of wood, has not actually changed in its shape or form during that period. We look at the other ones like the walker sisters and foldable wheelchairs. They're all the same, nothing's really changed that much. They're still quite heavy and not easy to transport around. What we decided to do was fuse the Titomic technology into these new product range. So one of the things we're looking at first is doing a transport chair. The idea of that transport chair is something that folds up so compact, it can fit in quite a small area, it can fit in the boot of your car. If you're traveling internationally, you can fit it into the overhead locker in a plane. With our aim weight is looking at having this product under seven kilograms. Now we envisage this as being a bit of a game changer. We've talked to a lot of few different people. We've talked to Bill Gates Foundation who are interested in this wheelchair also for, to look at third world countries where currently the rate of handicapped people requiring a, a wheelchair, only 40% of them actually have access to a wheelchair. So they were very interested in working with us in looking at that market potential as well. Titomic, technology only limited by your imagination. If you would like to talk to me further about any ideas that you might have, we can utilise this technology. I'd be very happy to talk to you and thank you for your time.